Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Country Spotlight. Today we're going to be exploring Serbia. Serbia is a country that I'm not super familiar with, at least in a GeoGuessr sense, uh, so this should be pretty interesting to explore this country and take a look at its various landscapes and cities. We're going to set a three minute timer here and we're going to be moving around. If you guys would like to try out this challenge, the link is in the description. Anybody can play, you don't even need a pro account. Uh, so if you want to play, go ahead and do that right now. Okay, let's jump into the challenge here and see what we get. So we're on a mountain road here. Interesting, heading kind of east-west. Uh, but it seems to be a pretty curvy road, so... Uh, yeah, that's not going to be the direction we're going in the whole time. But it seems like we're coming into a town here. We have the name of it as well. And this town is called... Uh, Mar... Marina... Kid... Tina, or something like that. <laughs> uh, my Cyrillic is a little rusty, but it's something to that effect. Um, so yeah, we, we know that, at least. Uh, let's keep following this around. See if we come across any directions to other places, or uh, road numbers, something like that. If not, we can head into the map here, and just start scanning the mountains for the town. Which obviously isn't the ideal strategy. But here we go, we got something. So, some road numbers and town names and everything. So, Niche is on the 134, sort of to the north. Okay. I don't see 134. We're also looking for 135. There's 35. Now, would 135 branch off of that? Maybe. I don't know about this. Um, interesting. We're also looking for a bunch of other stuff. I haven't. I don't recognize these other places though. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how far away we could be. Let's uh, let's see this junction and see what's going on here. Oh wow! What is all this? Um, Dushnik, Licha. Yikes, don't know where any of these are, but we can look for them. I'm very confused by this sign. <laughs> I'm going to say that much. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if we're down here, or if we're more up here. I, I really could not say here. Wow, okay. This sign's just going to say the same thing as the other, but with other towns... There's 134. So we just need 135. Which I'm not seeing. Hmm. I don't know about this. There's Marina Kutina. That was the town, right? Oh my god. Well, that was a kind of crazy search that we just did, but we're... What, are we like down here then? Or something? I don't know. Ah, I was down there. Okay, wow. So we were on the 224, and then we junctioned with 225. So the road numbers there just absolutely do not match at all. I That's very confusing, but uh, we did find it pretty much in the end. 504 meters away. So let's move into the second round. We're next to a music club. Uh, hopefully we can <laughs> get a better score this time. We're in a pretty decent-sized city. Uh, Belgrade's being pointed out to us to our south, so put us around there for now. I haven't heard of this other city, though. Zrenjanin. That's this one. So we're probably in one of those towns. Let's, uh, follow this road. See if we can get, uh, mileage numbers or road numbers, though those seem to be not very reliable. But you never know. I'm gonna follow this around and see what we get. Pretty large bridge here, that actually might be a distinct landmark to look for. And this town is Tito. Okay. If I can spot that, that would be great. Not seeing it yet. Okay, we'll just see if we have a road number. So this is the river. Is it a river? Yeah, it is. Okay, so a huge river here. Uh, just outside of Tito. Is this like a, a territory? It's also a town, it seems. Interesting. 
I would assume we're along this river here, right? There it is. Excellent. Okay, so where did we come from then? We started next to a music club. Road's going east-west here, and then when we go to the west, it kind of takes a curve. At least the major street does. So I'd assume it's this one. Now we just gotta find the music club. I don't know where that's gonna be. Maybe if we have street names as well, that could help. Anything here? There's an auto center. Mmm, okay. I mean, we didn't go too far to get to the curve here, so... It's gotta be around here. Let's see if I can count the buildings, or just find another street. Because I didn't really see any cross streets here. There's a little... Oh, this one's angled off. Okay, so that's gonna be this. And that would mean we started down here. I don't see a, a supermarket or anything here, but... Okay. It seems like a lot of the buildings are also not marked on the map, which is unfortunate, but we just kind of have to work with that. Uh, but yeah, we should be around here. I hope. Just sucks that we don't have the buildings for pinpointing. That would be really helpful here, and it's it's just not going to work out that way. But yeah, the angled street is just down here, so we're not too far away from it, really. So, I mean, I'm happy going about here. We'll leave it there and see if we're good enough. Ah, oh, man, a little further down, actually. Um, so, it was this building there, apparently. Interesting. Well, a better score than last time. We actually found the town faster this time, so that was good. Right, next round here. Now we got some mountains. Let's go this way. Always better to go the opposite direction of the Google car, because usually they uh, send the car driving away from important places to smaller roads, generally. Uh, so that's the, that's the rule I always follow. So we're going to follow this road around, see what we make it to. Hopefully something. But all we know so far is that it's relatively hilly. Uh, and there's something here. Okay, so a town called Krivivir is nearby, sort of to the north, probably a small place. What's all this? Uh, probably some historical information that I cannot read, <laughs> so that's no good. But at least we have one small town name. I'm just hoping we get directions to other towns or road numbers. Once again, that's all I really need here. But this seems like a pretty major road, honestly. And it is pretty hilly as well. So we can scan some major roads in the hillier areas of Serbia. Not seeing anything though along this road. We're kind of going uphill too, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try my luck going this way. See what we come across. Here is something. So the town of Lukovo. That actually kind of sounds familiar. Um, I might be just making this up, but that sounds familiar. Here's Lukovo. Okay. Interesting. How does that work? It's down here, <laughs> and we're heading east west. Let's, uh, let's see what's going on here. So the road now curves more north. Could we be down there? Where's Krivi Veer? That's another important thing to look for. What if this is an entirely different Lukovo as well? Like, what if there are two of them? That would not be good. <laughs> that would be really bad, actually. Um, we don't have too much time to figure this out anymore. So we've got to act fast here and see if we can figure this out. But the road is definitely heading very east-west here. Not so north-south. So we can't be here. And I just do not see Krivi Veer as well. Uh, I'm concerned that we're in the wrong area. I'm very concerned, actually. Is there another Lukovo? If there is, I don't think we're going to find it. So, I'm going to switch up to here. On this road. I don't know. This is weird. Everything's really weird about this. 
And it was not that Lukovo. That is really, really unfortunate. That's the one. That lines up way better. Uh, and there's Creepy Veer as well. So if I'd just seen that Lukovo first instead of this one, uh, things would have gone a lot better. That's that's kind of annoying, actually. Well, nothing we can do about it. Round number four here. Uh, interesting. What's this? Uh, I don't recognize anything on there. But again, we're just going to follow the road around. Again, it's hilly here. Seems further south to me. So there's that, at least. And a town being pointed out to us here is Jablanica. Jablanica? Something like that. So we've got that to look for, at least. That's to our north. Now, here we're entering the town of... You've got to be kidding me. Lukovo again. Get out of here. Why? <laughs> is it going to be this Lukovo? Can I trust it? I don't see this other town now. Um, There it is. No, it is this one. What are the odds of that ending up right here? That's ridiculous. Okay, well... <laughs> uh, going this way, the road's curving around a bit. And then there's this little dirt road thing. Maybe we're here. And then it curves around more. And then that's when we hit the turnoff for Lukovo, I think. Yeah, here it is. Or Jablanica. So... Actually, that might be here, so we're probably there. Yeah, that seems more like it. So just about here, give or take. Just going this way, the road curves around a lot. And then this way, it's curving slightly and then starts to curve the other way. So yeah, that definitely fits with that. Uh, so yeah, I think we are right about here. Just about, anyway. Yeah, road's slightly angled. Yeah, I'm gonna go there. Uh, we found this one pretty fast because <laughs> because it's the same exact town as round three. Uh, and there we go. Perfect score. Oh, barely got it. 15 meters is the cutoff for a 5k on a small map. So that was lucky. Good stuff. And moving into the final round. If we can get above 20k, I'll be happy. We're on a pretty large road here. Divided highway. I'm gonna follow this. We're going east-west here. And of course I have to spawn off the road. That's annoying. But we're just gonna try it again here. And see what we've got. So here is a sign. Seems like we're on the A or the E80 to Sofia in Bulgaria. And I think this is the 80, yep. So also the 112. Uh, exit for Nish Istok. So are we around here? Perhaps. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see what else we have up here. Try and make it to that exit, perhaps, and uh, see what's going on there. Here it is. So, wait, is this it? That was a rest stop. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, up here there's some more stuff. Okay, yeah, here's the, the real exit. So, let's take this, see what's going on up here. So, a pretty large interchange here. Kind of a big clover leaf. There's a, a sizable town right here. So, yeah, probably around here, honestly. Uh, this could be the interchange we just made it to. Maybe. No, that doesn't fit, really. Um, but we're on the E80. Hmm, I don't know. How does this interchange work? Let's see. What is this sign? Oh, God. God damn it. Get me back to that sign. <laughs> no. Fuck. That's bad. I needed to look at that sign. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> Hopefully we stay on this road. Really need to see this yellow sign. So we're between Matejevak and Nish something. Nish Eastak. There is Matejevak. So yeah, we must be we must be here at one of these interchanges. I think it might be this one, really. Uh, so back to the start. We're curving around a little bit this way. Um, then it curves around. So we're kind of just generally east-west curving a bit. Um, I mean, that fits. That definitely fits here. Now looking south, 
Got a lot of buildings, so yeah, definitely would make sense to be just north of Niche here. Um, that would be my guess. So here the road curves down a bit, pretty gradual curve, then it starts curving back up this way significantly, so, which is probably that. So yeah, we should be about here. Roughly there, I would say. I hope. <laughs> here we go. Ah, oh, a little further down, so I almost had it. Uh, 4977. Uh, that's fine. Good way to end it, so that was the interchange we made it to there. Um, happy with how that one turned out. And final score there, 20,822. We basically got every single round except for the one where we had two different Lukovos, uh, which was quite annoying. But four of the rounds were very close to each other here in the southeast, and then we had one further north. Uh, overall, interesting game. Let me know how you guys did down in the comments, and I will see you guys next time with some more Yogasur videos.